On our FJM free joint multi systems, you can utilize the K4 button to observe the operation of the system. Each consecutive push of the K4 button will reveal a new operating parameter. Let's walk through them now. And for your information, a full list of what each number represents can be found in your installation manual. When we press the K4 button once, we'll see our current compressor frequency, 49 hertz. When we press it a second time, we'll see the target frequency. Now if the system was in a safety mode, protecting its operation, the present frequency and the target frequency might be different. The third button press shows us the EEV position of EEV zero or the first port. Pushing it a fourth time will tell us the EEV position of EEV one. Pushing it a fifth time will reveal the EEV current step position for EEV two. A sixth time will reveal the current step of EEV number three. And a seventh push will show us the current position of EEV number four. An eighth push will give us the RPM of the outdoor fan motor. A ninth button push will reveal the discharge temperature leaving the compressor. This is in Celsius, so you'll need to convert it to Fahrenheit. A tenth button push will change the segment to reveal the letter A. And what the letter A represents is the OLP temperature. Another button push will change the letter to B, and B represents the condensing temperature. Again, these temperatures are in Celsius, so you will need to convert them. Another button push will advance us to letter C, which will be our outdoor temperature, again in Celsius, so please make your Fahrenheit conversion. Pushing it again will take us to letter D, which will show us our running current. In this case, we are looking at about 9.2, 9.3 amps. The decimal point doesn't show, but know that it's a whole number and then a decimal point. Pushing it again will take us to letter E, which will show us our target discharge temperature. And we can compare it with our discharge temperature in item number nine to see what the differences may be if this thing was operating in a safety mode. Another push will take us to letter F, which will show us the total capacity of the indoor units. And this is in kilowatts, so it's not gonna be in BTUs. And then one more time, we'll take us to the letter G. And if the unit was operating in a safety mode, these last two digits would change to let you know what safety mode you're operating in. If you'd like a full description of what safety modes the unit can operate in, please refer to the service manual for the specific unit you're working on. Thank you. For service manuals and other documentation, please visit our website at samsunghvac.com or use our Samsung HVAC mobile app to download any technical documentation. Thank you.